Look at that. That's pretty fucked, isn't it? That is ruined. I'm gonna change my name to Cletus or like some hillbilly. This is completely unrelated to why I look like a bit of a hillbilly at the moment. Basically, uh, a few years ago, I was doing squats. My friend went up behind me. As I went under the bar, he slapped me on the back to psych me up, fell forwards, teeth first into the bar, and smashed out half of one of my front teeth. And obviously I got that fixed and repaired and made aesthetic again, it is all good. Until like a few months ago, I managed to like take like the inside and upper like edge. I basically just ruined my front tooth. I'm getting that fixed in about a month, like I make a whole video on it. Hello children. I hope you're sitting comfortably. I'm gonna tell you a very sad and heartbreaking and tragic now nah, you probably won't give a shit but it's like it's something i wanted to talk about just because i really press the fact that especially as a bloke you know because as a as a guy like, you don't really talk about emotions and shit like that um because you're worried that other people are gonna judge you i think it is so important to talk about shit especially stuff that's to do with mental health and to do with basically important stuff i'm gonna tell you a story about that fun time when I had an eating disorder. And like, I'm not talking about like a pussy eating disorder. I'm joking, there's, there's no like ranking of eating disorder. Yeah, there definitely is, and mine was the best one. I wanna start by saying that Rob Lips has done a video like this, and I was thinking about making one for ages, and Rob kind of like gave me the confidence to make it because I was like hesitant about making this. So big shout out to that guy there. I haven't planned any of this, none of this is scripted, I never plan any of my YouTube videos, this is straight off the bat. I haven't told anyone about this, first of all, okay? Um, my closest friends know, and that is about it. My family doesn't, my mom doesn't, my sister doesn't. So if you're watching this, don't worry, like, I'm all good. Um, but this is like the first time I'm kind of putting this out there. And like I said, I think it is very important to talk about shit. But, when I was 19 years old, like two or three years ago, I did a men's physique show and you'll probably remember me prepping for it like it was around the time I first started doing YouTube and that basically involves dieting very very heavily. Everything was going great, completely fine, I was on track, I was looking sick, I was getting shredded, admittedly I was quite small but that was before I started taking um, steroid, no I'm joking, um, I, was, I was quite small, you, you lose a lot of size when you compete in these natural competitions, it was a natural tested competition and um, everything was going great, diet was fine. So I got into sick shape, I got super super shredded and I dieted for a period of like approximately 12 weeks and this was the first show that I'd ever done and like all good eating disorder stories. This starts with a bodybuilding show or a like a beauty pageant, which is basically like the root cause of all eating disorders, right? So um, I've been dieting for 12 weeks. And what you do when you diet is you start off on relatively high calories. And then as you get closer and closer to the show, you reduce your calories and you eat less and less and less. Basically what's gonna happen is your body's gonna adapt to the amount of calories that you're eating. Metabolism is going to slow down. So you want your body to continue to burn fat, so you're gonna take away even more calories. Anyway, I did all this prep, got, got really shredded, did the competition, placed third place in my category, which I was really happy about, and uh, all was great. I've actually got the video unpublished, I'll link it down below. Um, my issues first started happening when I thought it would be a great idea to go to an all-you-can-eat buffet immediately after the competition. So people have warned me about this, they're like, yo Mo, take it easy after the show, don't eat loads of food, what's known as binge eating, because binge eating itself is an eating disorder, but I kind of take it up a notch, as you'll find out in a bit. Um, don't eat loads of food, take it easy, blah, 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 all this, I was like, yeah, 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 fuck off. Um, so I went to my all-you-can-eat buffet, uh, ate so much food at the all-you-can-eat buffet, probably about seven plates. At the end of the meal, I was on the, I had to run to the toilet. I felt like my insides were going to explode. I threw up in a sink and it was not fun. But anyway, when you've got a goal and you've got like a really, and a specific time to get to that goal, you are like, I just obsess over it. I'm so like focused on achieving that goal, getting to that weight, doing that thing. And after the show, right, I was gonna reverse diet. So what you do after a show is you gradually add back in calories to give your metabolism a chance to adapt to more food. After the show, after your metabolism has slowed down, you could go back to eating the same amount of food you did before you started dieting for the show, the same amount of calories, and because your metabolism has changed, it's adapted to lower calories, even though that number of calories might make you maintain your weight, you won't gain weight or lose weight or gain fat or lose fat, if you did that after show, 
you're gonna balloon up and get so fat and gain so much weight because of all these changes. I didn't have a clear goal in sight after the show. Everything went from being 100% regimented to like nothing at all. So post show, I tried to reverse diet. And basically what kept happening, I was at university, I was in a relationship, things weren't great in my relationship, um, as well as not having a specific goal and being, basically meant that I was like binge eating food all the time. So with reverse dieting, it can take what, like randomly out of the air, it can take like eight, 10, 12 weeks to get your metabolism back up to normal. Like people add in like 20 calories a week, 50 calories a week. And from a competition diet, that is an incredibly small amount of calories. So you are really, really still starving yourself. You're still really hungry. And basically because I didn't have that goal, because I was stressed and like weak willpower, weak minded, I was just binge eating all the time. So I was trying to stick to my diet, but I'd be kind of like, screw it. So the week after the competition, I didn't track anything. I just went out and ate loads of food. And then I tried to reverse diet and stick to my diet when I was like, oh, hang on, I'm getting a bit fat. And I just basically kept binge eating. Whenever I got stressed, I would go and eat loads of shitty food from the cupboard. So like probably eat like five, six, 7,000 calories in a sitting, like no exaggeration that I can eat like a motherfucker. And um, I kept doing that. I could see myself getting fatter and fatter and failing in terms of my physique, just getting worse and worse and worse after being in the best shape of my life. There's more to add to this story. And one of the reasons why I put off making this video was that whenever, whenever something herd mentality of humans, right? Whenever something appears, to, when, when a lot of people appear to be doing something, others will do it as well. Whether you know it or not, whether you think you follow the crowd or you don't, it's just, it's basic psychology. If everyone else is doing something, you'll be drawn towards doing that. It's like when a famous person commits suicide, suicide rates go up massively. My environment did not help me one bit. I had a girlfriend at the time and she had suffered from very, very bad bulimia. It's a binge eating disorder. You'll binge eat loads of food and you'll kind of be like, oh shit, what have I done? I don't want to get fat. You'll go to the toilet normally, get the old toothbrush now. But anyway, um, what bulimia basically is, is you eat loads of food. You have like a binge, a binge eat, and then you don't want to put on the fat. So you go and you make yourself sick. And this doesn't work. Like, there's a number of reasons why this doesn't work and this doesn't work, but you get stuck into that cycle of doing that. So I had a girlfriend who had some major problems in terms of food. She was getting better when I was with her, but that was still there. My a buddy of mine had also done a show and he was doing that as well. So he had, a, he had problems with binge eating and he was basically, he was on contest prep. I think it's on contest prep or it was either after a show. So he was dieting and he had like a binge eating problem. He had like a lot of things going on in his life, really, really stressed. And he had become bulimic in the last few weeks. And this is one of my best friends. Like he was eating loads of food and then throwing up not to store the calories for his show because that's how like bad he wanted it, but also how stressed he was, you know? It's like a really, it's so hard to under understand if you've actually been in that situation, but it's like, it's a shit thing. And as you can probably guess it, I became by definition, Bulimic. It wasn't something. This is so. This is like real bad. Because you imagine some like thir thirteen-year-old, fourteen-year-old white girl huddled over the toilet, all skin and bones, like putting some shit down her throat, or you know what I mean. But like, this is kind of like, yeah, it's it's one of those. By definition, I was bulimic, and it gets really bad. I wasn't like properly severe with it or anything like that. And thankfully, it's only over a period of a couple of weeks before I like came to my senses and was like, Mo, what the. F fuck are you doing? You're an absolute idiot. But basically what would happen is I would be trying to reverse diet on very low calories. I would basically, I'd like either get stressed by something, get like triggered or set off by something, um, or frustrated just by like the most trivial, minute things, eat loads and loads of food because I was hungry and dieting. I didn't really have a goal. And because I was using food as a coping mechanism of stress. And then I'd eat loads of food, feel really guilty about what I've done, not want to get fat, especially with like the pressure of doing YouTube and Instagram and people watching my shit. And then I'd go and make myself sick and like throw it up. I realized it was fucking stupid. But when you when you start doing it, it's so hard to explain like, or something like that, you have, your, your head is getting fucked about like that. It's so hard to get out of or not to do because you don't understand why you're doing it in the first place. Being in that environment surrounded by people that were kind of, that normalized it, this is why I didn't want to talk about it, made it like, made me more likely to do it, if that makes sense. Like if your parents smoke, you smoke kind of thing. If your friends go to the toilet and make themselves throw up, you go to the toilet and make yourselves throw up. It's really, really bad. And a lot of people get hospitalized for it. And if you do it enough, you can even die. Like it puts a lot of pressure on the aorta above your heart. Um, that can quite literally explode and it doesn't it doesn't work like 
you're not going to be able to get all the calories out of you. It's going to be very, very bad for you. It's going to put your body in a lot of stress. You're probably going to release like a shit ton of cortisol as well and end up losing muscle from doing it. And um, I kind of like had to come to my senses, realize that what I was doing was fucking stupid and find, set another goal and find something else as a mechanism to cope with my stress. What I would do is in instead of eating loads of food, when I started to feel stressed, whatever task it was, whatever I was doing, I would just like drop it go outside for a walk for half an hour, listen to a podcast, listen to some music, go to the gym, do something I enjoyed, or not so much go to the gym, because if you've got problems with food, like getting obsessed with the gym isn't great. It's serious shit, you know, like even binge eating. I've been, I'm not gonna lie, um, recently on my diet, I've had a few times where I've binge date loads of food. And the the thing is that makes it, or binge date loads of food, you say, like kind of gone off my diet and just eaten what I want. The thing that makes it an eating disorder is when you're doing it uncontrollably and when you try and, I think this is the main thing that I've kind of learned from this is if you binge eat loads of food, one, don't make yourself sick, two, don't try and compensate for it the next day. So I will literally just write that day off. If I want to eat shit, I will just eat shit. I will eat shit that I enjoy. Um, I won't just mindlessly eat shit. I'll be mindful of it, but don't try and remove the calories from the next day because that's what I was doing as well and that would just put me in this cycle of being really, really hungry the next day, and then I'd binge eat a load of food, and then I'd try and reduce the calories the day after to make up for it, and then it'll just happen again and again and again, and just continue in this cycle. If you eat too much shit, if you go for your macros, just write it off, like, one day of bad eating isn't gonna ruin your diet, it's all about consistency, and the way I think of it is that if you start writing days off and binge eating and binge eating, then you're consistently eating shit food above your calories, rather than just having one day where you maybe go, like, a bit off the rails, and then go return to, like, normal, but... But yeah, that's basically that. I was believing for a short time, it's kind of weird for me to say, because, like, I've never, ever, like, I never thought I'd be doing that. The way I think of it now, right, is if you're on a diet, if you're following a plan, if you're tracking macros, you should be able to stop doing that and have no like mental implications, no issues at all. Like, for example, last month, um, I went to Croatia. I stopped tracking everything. I just stopped like that. I didn't go to the gym. I didn't track diet. I just had a week off. You should be able to stop whenever you want. I think the moment you start worrying about stopping or getting stressed or not able to not able to stop or feeling like you have to train and all this and like even like going to the gym links into all this like people um maybe eating loads of food and feeling like they have to do like a three-hour workout all of that like links in together with this like eating disorder type behavior and it's like it's so normalized by bodybuilding and fitness and it's a fucking cancer you know like i can guarantee that most of the big people you follow on instagram either had or probably do have an eating disorder. Like with girls, it's even worse. With girls that do shows, like it's so bad. And um, especially like with guys as well, as I've just demonstrated. Like I'm sure that's just, I know like three or four people that compete on a really close personal level, probably like three. And one of those people has openly talked to me about having an eating disorder. So that's what, like a third of people. Like I wonder how many people actually have issues like that and you're starving yourself and you're starving yourself and you're starving yourself and then bam no goal shows over people eat loads of shit so if you're doing a show just be mindful of that like i do recommend reverse dieting don't do what i did and like just fucking ignore my advice like really slowly reverse diet keep eating well like by all means treat yourself but maybe like have like a meal out do not go to an all you can eat buffet <laughs> that is a terrible idea think about it do you see yourself doing this for the next 10 years like if it's a yes like you're doing something right if it's a no you probably need to like change up a few things like do i see myself binge eating food for the next 10 years and you know like it's, it's not gonna work is it that's kind of my story i'm no like therapist or expert or anything like that like the main thing is just to talk to people People, like and don't get too obsessed over things it's easy to say but you should just be able to stop stop training or stop dieting cold turkey and not worry about it like a few days off isn't going to ruin your physique uh yeah i think that's everything but um my name is mo samuels i'm a 13 year old bulimic girl no i'm joking now i'm like encouraging everyone's going if you get triggered by this video get the fuck off my youtube channel like literally i'm so sick of what, like, worrying about shit that I say in case I offend someone. Like, I literally don't fucking care, you cunts. So, um, so that was a story about that one time that I had bulimia. That's one to tell the grandkids, eh? If you're struggling with this, go speak to someone that, like, actually knows what they're doing, get help. Like, at least speak to your friends, your mum, your mate, or something like that. Like I said, the only time you're gonna come across as, like, a weak or a pussy is when you, when you, like, bottle up your emotions and don't speak about shit because your ego is too large, you care about what people are gonna think of you and you're gonna be judged and all this stuff, like, who fucking cares? No one is going to judge you. Like, just 
Just talk to people, like, it helps so much. Anyway, we got some good content coming. We have got some juicy content coming. I always say this, let me know what you want to see down below. What, like, what kind of content do you like the most? What video do you want to see next? Do you want to see fitness? Do you want to see festivals? Do you want to see most animals doing a 10,000 calorie challenge and being bulimic afterwards? Like, just let me know. What do you want to see? That's that. I'm currently dieting right now. Anyway, my name is Mo Samuels, and this is my bulimia story. That's pretty hot. <laughs>